Hi children! Last week, in our venture, we visited the Jordan River. And when we were there, we discovered that that was the place where Jesus brought great joy to God because He was baptised by John the Baptist. Now, we too can bring great joy to God. And you know what brings God the greatest joy? Simply by knowing that we are His children. And as His children, when we depend on Him, He will help us to discover our purposes in life. And talking about discover, do you know that the best discoveries are made on road trips? That's right! Have you been on a road trip before? Well, it's so much fun and sometimes you don't even know what to expect on the road. Well, who's ready for a road trip right now with Toro and Tara? Is that you? If you are ready, let's go! Tara, can you name some popular routes that people have gone on for their road trips? You have Route 66, found in the US, which is more than 3,666 km, covering 8 states, and will take you about 2 weeks to drive if you include stops and sightseeing. I've heard about the Great Ocean Road in Australia. It is about 664 km where you can take a 3-day drive to find some of the most beautiful sites like the 12 Apostles Rocks Formation. I'm so excited for our coming road trip. Look, I have all my essential pets. I'm glad you are more than ready because you really do not know what to expect on a road trip. Where are we going? We are going on a trip from Jerusalem to Damascus. By car, it should take us about 5 hours to get there. I remember someone in the Bible traveled there. Imagine in those times, they either had to take a carriage or else they walked for 56 hours if they never stopped. Oh yes, so before he became Paul went on his trip from Jerusalem to Damascus, he the purpose for this trip was to capture the Christians and imprison them in Jerusalem. However, something unexpected happened on his way there and he was completely transformed. Wow, what a life-changing trip! Let's visit the road to Damascus and find out what happened. Let's go! Hi children, we heard earlier about how something amazing happened on the road to Damascus. It happened to this man named Saul. Saul was an angry man. He did not like Christians at all. The Bible tells us that he would catch Christians and put them in jail. In fact, he wrote a letter to the leaders in the city of Damascus asking for them to give him permission to catch and hurt more Christians. So one day, Paul travelled from Jerusalem where he was to the city of Damascus. As he was on his way, suddenly out from heaven came a very bright light. Then he heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Not recognising the voice, Saul asked, who are you? The voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you are opposing. Now Saul was afraid and asked in a weak voice, Lord, what should I do? The voice replied, Go into the city and someone will tell you what to do. So the friends that Saul was with did not see what happened. They only heard a voice. They had hmm. no clue what happened to Saul. But when Saul got up from the ground, he found that he could not see anything. His friends had to lead him into the city of Damascus. For three whole days, Saul remained unable to see. Now at the same time, in the city of Damascus, there was a Christian man named Hello. Ananias. He loved God very much. God spoke to Ananias in a vision and told him to look for Saul. When Ananias heard, he said, But lo, 
Lord, this man named Saul is known for hurting Christians. He would arrest Christians and put them in jail. But God assured Ananias, and this is where our Bible memory verse comes from. God told Ananias, Go, I have chosen this man to work for me. He will announce my name to the Gentiles and to their kings. He will also announce my name to the people of Israel. It's taken from Acts chapter 9, verse 15. When Ananias heard that, he was assured and he found where Saul was staying. He laid hands on Saul and prayed. And when he did that, something like scales fell off Saul's eyes and the blindness left him. God healed Saul and he was able to see again. Saul stayed in Damascus with the Christians and became good friends with them. He learned from them and it wasn't long before Saul became a preacher, teaching and telling people about Jesus. Everyone was amazed at Saul's transformation. Saul went on to become known as Apostle Paul, traveling from place to place, telling everyone he saw about the good news of Jesus. Wow! What an amazing transformation on the road to Damascus. Each time you read about the road to Damascus, remember the transformation of Saul to Paul. From someone who hated and bullied Christians, he was transformed by God who used him greatly to spread the good news of Jesus. All of us can be transformed by God so that we can be used by Him to spread His love and goodness. I have some eyes with me. Like eyes, perhaps your heart is cold and hard toward the things of God. You know God in your mind, but I have yet to experience Him in your heart. The truth is, God wants to reveal Himself to you when you seek Him. As we faithfully come to church, read the Bible, pray and worship God with our hearts, He wants to slowly but surely warm our heart and transform us like this. As we are transformed by God, we can no longer remain the same just like water that has no definite shape and takes on the form of any jar it is poured into, we allow ourselves to become instrument and vessel of honour that God can use. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 2.21, Therefore, if anyone claims himself from these things which are dishonourable, disobedient, sinful, he will be vessel for honour sanctified, set apart for a special purpose and useful for the master prepared for every good work. God wants to transform us so that we can be used by Him for a special purpose, ready for good work. Children, what an amazing story of transformation on the road to Damascus. God transformed Saul into Paul and change him inside out. God loves us so much. In fact, God loves us too much to let us remain the same. Are there areas in your life that need a touch from God as well? No matter how challenging or impossible it may seem, if God can do it for Saul, He can do it for you. I remember when I was a little girl, I was always angry. But when I came to know Jesus, and as I read the Bible, I learned and realized that I don't have to stay angry all the time. And I told God, please change me to be more loving, to be more full of joy. And I can honestly tell you that today, I'm no longer angry but I have become much more loving, 
patient, kind, and joyful. I would like to encourage you as you call out to Jesus, surrender to Him, and God will touch you. Are you ready to pray this prayer with me? Dear God, thank you for loving me. I open my heart to you. Come and change me from inside out. I want to be more and more like Jesus. I ask you to use me for your own special work, just as how you have used Paul. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray, and all God's amazing children say, Amen.